I raised the motion. Myself and two others were the co-sponsors. But after that, our distinguished colleagues, 64 of them, as you said, and in fact, there are other senators that are named, that their names did not appear. So I will pass paper around for those senators to put their name so that it will be reflected in the votes and proceedings. The Senate notes the huge disparity and uneven disbursement of half, about half a trillion Naira loans to the states of the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria and the states in the country in 2021 by Development Bank of Nigeria. Aware that the bank's annual integrated statutory report of 2021 obtained on 13 July 2022 from the organization's website showed that the bank disbursed a loan worth about half a trillion, that is 483 billion, out of only uh, out of which only 17 percent there's an adjustment there went to the 19 states of northern nigeria and in addition 10 percent to other five geopolitical zones i'm, I'm sorry while 70 i mean 47 percent went to lagos alone other five states that is not there so i'm stating it now that is other states in the southwest, five states, got only 10%. Also aware that 11% of the loan went to North Central, which totals about 53 billion 130. Well, as I stated earlier, Lagos got 47%. That is about two, two, 227 billion uh, 100 uh, million observes that the loan were given out to the six geopolitical zones as follows. And as I stated, the Southwest got 57%, but Lagos got 47%, and other uh, five states of the Southwest got 10%. South-South, 17%, uh, North Central, 11%, Southeast, 9%, Northwest, 5%, and Northeast, 1%. Recalls that the development by financial constraints being faced by micro, small, medium scale enterprises in Nigeria through providing finance, partial credit guarantees, and technical assistance to eligible uh, financial intermediaries on market conforming and fully financially sustained basis. And also notes that the top five sectors considered for the loans were oil and gas, 42%. Manufacturing, 16%. Agriculture and forestry, 7.2%. Trade, commerce, 6.3%. Uh, and transportation and storage, 35 Before I go to the prayers, distinguished colleagues, they have what they call participating financial institutions. That is microfinance banks. So far, the bank is using about 64 of them, out of which 60 are in Lagos. Four only are spread around the other 35 states in the country. And I want to also tell my colleagues that the other developmental uh, uh, finance institutions that they call the FI include Bank of Industry, Bank of um, Agriculture, Nigeria Export Finance and Import Bank, uh, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, National Economic Reconstruction Fund, Nigeria Infrastructure Development Bank, and uh, NISA. And I want to tell my colleagues that the ownership of the Developmental Bank, uh, Development Bank of Nigeria specifically, is owned by 60% 60, 60 of it is owned by the Federal Government of Nigeria. That gives us the power to not only oversight, but also to have a strong say in how the institution discharges its uh, responsibilities. Having said that, distinguished colleagues, uh, I conclude by the Senate accordingly resolves to set up an ad hoc committee to carry out a holistic investigation into the matter and report back to the Senate in four weeks for further legislative action. In conclusion, Mr. President, last time there was purported to be a report. I read the report. And there was a letter written 
from the, the Senate. I read the letter. The letter was signed, dispatched by the clerk on 9th June. And this Senate was inaugurated on the 13th. I read the letter. It contains, I'm sorry to say, nothing. Because it did not address the matters raised in the motion. I don't want to go back to the issue of report because it was written by this Senate, and they are my colleagues, I was part of it. But it was more of reportage than report. Thank you, distinguished colleagues. Distinguished uh, Senator, thank you. Uh, my job, I would have loved to ask that the loans, do they just give or you apply? Because if you have to receive application before the loan is disbursed, and then Lagos being the nerve center of Nigerian economy, and most of the businesses are in Lagos. Almost all of us here started life with our businesses in Lagos. Supposing Lagos applied up to this percentage, and the other states did not apply, because it is not a grant. But let me, let's, let somebody uh, second the motion. I wouldn't want to call on Senator, I don't want to call on Senator Sani Musa. The, the, but do you know why I don't want to call out uh, Senator Sarimusa? Is what that has the last report of the last Senate. So, Senator Sarimusa? Oh, is a co sponsor? Okay, in that case, let me recognize Senator, uh, Senator, uh, Senator, uh, Senator uh, uh, Oju Zakalo. Presented by the Chief Whip. In seconding the motion, Mr. President, I will take leave of you to just say a few things about this. I'm in support of what you were saying, loans are not given to communities. Rather, communities apply for loan. So nobody should say that Lagos have the largest uh, number of this load. I'm from Southeast, and uh, we have two, three companies that... Uh, uh, he has... Uh, distinguished uh, Distinguished Senator Oju Sakalo, you have seconded the motion. And, and, and you have seconded the motion, and you have my protection to contribute to the motion. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. For example, I, I know one or two companies that they are not from Lagos, but they live in Lagos. They are doing businesses in Lagos, and they obtain this kind of loans. So, these loans are not given by where you come from. They're given by application you made to the bank and the guarantees you are ready to offer to a development bank. This is purely business. It had nothing to do with politics. It had nothing. This is purely commercial because you have to pay interest. You have to fulfill the conditions given by the bank. So uh, bringing numbers of people or numbers of zones that have collected this loan, I uh, should not really, it, it will be dicey because you don't get what you don't ask for. People have asked for this loan. They asked for it. They, they, they've asked for this loan, and I'm sure there are conditionalities that you have to fulfill before these loans are given. Mr. President, I support to investigate what happened, but I also say that it's, it's purely business. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to make very few comments and also draw a note of caution on this particular motion. Let me start by sharing the sentiment as expressed by the movers of this motion, who, with the sta statistics he has given to us in this motion, shows that his own region, that is the Northeast, where it comes from, has been changed by these figures he has shown in this motion. But Mr. President, the institution that is involved here is a reputable institution. It's an institution that have laws, rules, and principles that is guiding their day-to-day -day activities. And as such, whatever they would do in terms of granting or giving loans to individuals or any organization has to follow 
the lay down rules and procedure of this particular organization. I want to appeal to us as a Senate to please let us give this motion a second look. Somebody has worked on this motion in the past. He has a report. They have invited these banks and all that are involved. They have given reasons and how they arrived at these particular statistics as given by my brother. Mr. President, so that we don't overflog this motion again, I will suggest, because from the statistics, Lagos got 47, other Southwest got 10, and coming down the line, 1% to Northeast. I want to believe, what is the objective of this loan? What are the criteria that are involved? Who and who are eligible to get this loan? And what are the conditions you must fulfill before you access this loan? These are pertinent questions that need to be answered. And I would strongly suggest that if Senator Ali Ndume felt so bad about this, that let's go ahead and set up another other committee to give it a second look. And looking at all these criteria that has been set or put in place by this development bank and see if the region or all the regions in this country has been given a fair hearing in terms of access to this loan before we pass any major comment or take any drastic action. I'm pleading, let's set up another committee without wasting time so that we can address this motion once and for all and move forward from this because this motion, if care is not taken, will not only be dividing us, it will be we will be looking at this motion from the perspective that one region is favor more than the other. We start looking at the nitty-gritty of what is contained in the document for you to assess this said loan. I so submit, Mr. President. Thank you. The, 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 the idea of, of it is that this is a corrective Senate. Uh, and, um, so our job is to look at things that happened in the past, even things that are happening now, and things that will happen in the future. And, and Senator Ndume, must have more information. He must have more information than, uh, so that's why I said he wouldn't have brought it a second time. Uh, so at least uh, for the benefit of our colleagues who are new, let's give opportunity to those who were in the last committee that actually worked on this same um, motion and brought out a report which the, uh, the clerk of the Senate has availed me one. In fact, the, the communication, the clerk, there was communication from you uh, from the, there was communication from the Senate. The clerk of the National Assembly communicated the resolutions of the Senate on this same matter. So uh, let us start from those who were members of the last uh, ad hoc committee. Senator Sani? Uh, that one will say were the resolutions of the last Senate. But for this matter to still linger, means that there may be more to it that means the eye. So, so that we can get more enlightened. Uh, distinguished uh, Senator Ndume, I've heard from uh, the former chairman of the committee. In fact, let me also, you have also informed me that the chairman of this bank that did this uh, lopsided uh, disbursement is from the Northwest. And the managing director is from Kogi, uh, uh, from North Central. And they shut out Northwest, they shut out North Central. So you can see that we need to find out what actually happened. Because if you are from Northwest and you shut out Northwest, you shut out Northeast, you shut out North Central, and you concentrated uh, on, on, uh, 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 on Lagos alone, uh, do you have additional information? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Myself and uh, Bumai and Senator Yao. When I read the motion last week, 64 of my colleagues signed on to the motion as co sponsors. If we are procedurally following the Senate debate, this motion is automatic because 64 members have supported it. We will allow for debate, yeah. And let me remind my colleagues, sir, that I understand all these things that they are talking about. You don't give out a loan like that. I know it's not a palliative, but the federal government set up this bank in 2014 
for the purpose of elevating and meeting the developmental gap in the country. And let me also add, sir, that this motion, I sponsored this motion, getting my facts from the uh, website of the bank, Developmental Bank of Nigeria, and it was association of microfinance banks from other regions that complained to me. Our governors in other regions reached out to developmental bank and were willing to guarantee these loans, but they were not given. So that's why I'm insisting that we should look at it closely. We should look at it again. Look at the motion. If there is nothing into it, please throw it away. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The distinguished senator Ismail Akao. It's the first time I supported this motion. And I have listened carefully to all the previous speakers. None of them was opposed to setting up an ad hoc committee. So I think, Mr. President, instead of going repeating ourselves, repeating ourselves let's go ahead and set up this ad hoc committee, uh, allow the committee reasonable time to do its work, even if it means going into the, pre the report already in your hand and adding any other information they get and make a recommendation to the Senate. I think that's the, the way forward, Mr. President. Thank you. I, I think that uh, is... Advice has to do uh, with what Nigeria needs now is peace, unity, and development. And to achieve this, Mr. President, there has to be justice, fairness, and equal developments. So whatever they are going to do, they should look at these two sides of the story. Uh, Mr. President, there is nothing bad in the country rejecting opus that does not take into consideration the disparity of the nation. And, uh, and then the, you know, bringing any form of uh, developmental initiative, uh, be it loan or otherwise. I want to agree with you, but thank God this did not happen under the administration of uh, uh, President Bola Metunibu, so it just didn't happen under the 10th Senate. And the 9th Senate had actually looked into this issue. This was the 2021 uh, loan allocations. So I think it's important that we get that in mind. So I agree with you. Like I said, we are reviewing the issue. We must look into it because people are still not very happy about what happened. And uh, the recommendations that will come out of the review will help us in terms of uh, moving forward. Senator Plank, you, you feel you have something to contribute. <laughs> 